let's get to work. I'm currently building a piece called Home. It's 10 feet tall by 5 feet 6 inches by 5 feet 6 inches. So a pretty big piece. I cut the side rails out of paper. I need to uh, plot this out and then scale these pieces up into real size. The real uh, durability of the, of the whole piece will rest in these pieces. I'll start with side A and side B. The great thing is that side B sits in a flat section. So I can base my 90 degree angle from that and, and ensure that I'm getting a correct angle to start the piece rather than plotting it along in some abstract way. So I'll start the piece on side B, that flat section, and build the skeleton spines up from that. This week is going to be challenging but exciting. I am going to start constructing the piece. I'm nervous. It's easy to think about the piece in the abstract and then plot along prepping pieces and getting things cut and ready, but to actually start assembling them is the challenging part. And that's where when I think about my project, I'm nervous because it's the assembling of all these parts that I think is going to work maybe not working. I was worried about getting materials to move on to fabricating the large pieces, but when I stepped back and really thought about it, I thought, oh yes, I need to make the base. The whole thing needs to stand up. I need to spend some time thinking about how it's going to stand up and how it's going to be attached to all the pieces and the base. <laughs> I've really broken this up in my head as it as the sculpture being four different sections. I'm moving on to the house section, which I'm going to do as the second section. And then the big curved, curved section is the third section, and the box will be the fourth section. I, I mocked up the, the two sections that I do have, and that's when I started to really bite my nails and worry about if this is going to come together as planned. I cut the big piece out of a sheet of 14 gauge stainless steel, rolled it, which was very exciting, and it is matching up with my side rails pretty much. I'll do some wrangling with that today, getting the side rails on. This piece is 10 feet tall, so it's not that big, but it's, it's wider and deeper than I usually take on it. So, Today I'm going to weld the side rails onto the big piece and then next is assembling the, the um, three parts to really see it come together as a sculpture. So that's, um, that's what has my stomach in knots, but we'll see what happens. Only thing you can do is weld it together and learn from what you're doing and figure it out. I've also had my dreams invaded about whether or not this sculpture is going to sand, if this is all going to work out, if this is actually even feasible with uh, gravity. <laughs> I ended up adding a trussle design to the inside, which was basically a bunch of X's that are all connected throughout the whole piece that really adds rigidity and solidity to the piece so that it could really carry that weight and stand up. The last thing I wanted it to do was to look like it was uncomfortably slouching. It needed to kind of look like it was leaping out of the air and really coming up with a gesture of excitement and this kind of uh, expressive arrow that, that looks like it's defying gravity. <laughs> I think I achieved that, I'm really thrilled. Adding the shingles was so exciting because it was just the icing on the cake. I couldn't wait to see what it finally looked like. The sculpture is complete. I finished it last Thursday. I am thrilled with the actual sculpture. I think it came together great. I have had to just come in and put my head down and work. 
It has been a lot of work. I've been coming in at 7.38, which is early for me, and just getting the welder turned on and going to work. I am thrilled with the results. The sculpture came out just how I was hoping. I decided to break the piece up into two different sections, and that was a hard decision for me. There were a couple reasons. One, getting it out of the studio door. Also, I need it to be delivered and installed in sections. We will be using people to put it into place, so this way the weight isn't as uh, heavy with different sections. 